is up everybody, Dean here, welcome to Raw Talk, and I just want to thank the wrestling gods, that's how you end Raw, that's how you end Raw, that's what I'm used to seeing on Raw. Goldberg comes out at the end of Raw, making his statement for the Royal Rumble. Then comes out Paul Heyman saying that the man that he's going to have to worry about mostly about is Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar comes out, goes in the ring to stare down Goldberg. And I was praying, praying for that moment. The Undertaker came out, stood right there in the middle of the ring between Brock Lesnar and Goldberg. And it was just a stare down. These guys didn't even brawl. Which, I like what they did there. Which I really did. Now it got me more, a little more excited for the Rumble. These three men just stared each other down. That's how Raw ended. What I was hoping for was the whole roster to come out. And just like fight each other. Attack each other. Throw each other over the ropes. And have one guy standing. It could have been Goldberg. Brock Lesnar. The Undertaker. Braun Strowman, the big show. And I'll make it more that that type would be more exciting. But I guess this way works too. So that's how you end Raw. Raw kicks off with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Not not that I didn't see that coming. And apparently he had a rematch. Uh, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho is on the stage. And Kevin Owens is saying that he is having his rematch. Why? I'll tell you why. Later that night, Roman Reigns goes one-on-one -on -one against Chris Jericho for the United States title. And Kevin Owens does interfere this match. Did not let Roman Reigns win it. That's why he let it happen. And now the cage was lowered down. The shark cage that Chris Jericho will be in this Sunday. Lowered down inside the ring. And they're trying to get Roman Reigns locked up inside it. Which, of course, wasn't going to happen. So Roman Reigns did not let Kevin Owens lock it. Uh, Roman Reigns got out. Beat up Kevin Owens. Beat up Chris Jericho. And Roman Reigns put Kevin Owens inside that cage. Locked it. And raised him up. And later that day, of course, he got lowered back down. All pissed. Then apparently, at the Royal Rumble, not only would Chris Jericho be in that shark cage. This match for the Universal title is now a no disqualification match. I'll take it. You know, watching these guys fight, they could really go at it. So, disqualification match, I'll take it. <laughs> Next, of course, we have the women's. Let's talk about that real fast. Bailey versus Charlotte for the women's title. Will Bailey do it? Will she make her mark at the Royal Rumble? Hopefully. Uh, they really, I'm surprised they didn't even have a segment. They just sat. They just had a little talk backstage with Corey Graves. Uh, just talking about life and what made them come, blah, blah, blah. But what did have something going on was Nia Jax versus some jobber girl. And later, Sasha Banks comes out. And Sasha Banks just hits Nia Jax with her crunch. And just, that shit broke. And... I don't know if uh, I don't know if Sasha Banks is faking her knee injury, which I think she is, because when Nia Jax was outside of the ring, Sasha Banks just jumped legit on top of Nia Jax with both knees going down the floor. She didn't even look like she was in pain, so she might actually look good later. Next, we had, of course, this was Cesaro versus Carl Anderson. Now, the match was enjoyable. I enjoyed it. I liked it. Uh, so, 
No, it was Luke Gallows. What am I saying? I am sorry. I take it back. Luke Gallows versus Cesaro. A fantastic match. You know, putting these guys together is really enjoyable. Match is something I actually kind of enjoyed. Uh, we had... Carl Anderson later come out. No, attack Sheamus. And just like interfering with this match. And it's great that I see what they're trying to do with these guys. And I don't know why. This is just something that did blow me off. Later that night, they showed that Luke Allison and Carl Anderson will verse Sheamus and Cesaro at the Royal Rumble in the pre-show match for the tag team titles. Two referees. Wonder how this is going to work out. But why is it part of a pre-show? This type of match belongs on the main card. That's to show you. <laughs> and another fantastic match that I enjoyed was pretty awesome. And that got me even more stoked. Seth Rollins versus Sami Zayn. If Seth Rollins loses to Sami Zayn, he loses his spot in the Royal Rumble match. Which means Seth Rollins won't be in the Royal Rumble. And unfortunately, Seth Rollins did not come up with the win. Why? Because Triple H theme song hit. That distracted Seth Rollins very well, which played off fantastic. Seth Rollins distracted. And Sami Zayn just... Got the victory. Triple H was nowhere to be seen. So is this the build up for WrestleMania? I hope so. Fantastic match by the way. Uh, another match that was not really that interesting. Was we had the New Day with Enzo and Cass. We had Rusev, Lana, Jinder Mahal. And they apparently had a match. Uh, Braun Strowman was part of the match. Now, I don't know what happened or what was going on, but Braun Strowman came up with the win. And, of course, the big man that he is, being the dominant thing that he is, uh, they had, of course, um, Titus O'Neil was technically the leader in this match. But Braun Strowman is just himself and just destroyed the team. And came up with the victory. Now not only was Braun Strowman standing tall in that ring. A big name also announced for the Royal Rumble. The Big Show comes out. Faced off with Braun Strowman. So Big Show was technically saying that his big eyes are on the big man Braun Strowman. And then Big Show would just cut off to WrestleMania for Shaq. <laughs> so... That's technically it for Raw. I don't talk about the Cruiserweights or the low-class stuff that I just didn't enjoy. But there was a lot of things that I enjoyed as well. See the figures right there. That stare down was just fantastic. The three-way. I'm just excited. Let me know in the comments below of what you thought of Monday Night Raw. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you guys tomorrow for SmackDown. Hope SmackDown is good.